is up, all my beautiful people. I hope you guys are off to a great start to your week and happy Monday. I'm filming this after the Eagles game and just all in all, it's my Sunday was just kind of blah and I had a really crappy day. So I just didn't feel like doing this on cam and everything like that. Just didn't really have the energy for it. So I'm just going to be showing off my second part of like all my new comics that I haven't really shown off in a video and just kind of shown off in a live, but not everybody watches my lives. If you don't watch my lives, please, they're my Sunday night sesh. Check them out every Sunday. You know, I like to show off my books on my lives, my shorts, and, uh, you know, my regular videos. That way, if you're only a viewer of my lives, my video, or my shorts, you can kind of indulge in everything and uh, kind of bridge that gap. So, to start it off today, we have the Aliens Annual. I know nothing about the book, nor do I care to read it. I sim simply got it for the Daniel Warren Johnson cover. Uh, I had to get it. Love that cover. Uh, Daniel Warren Johnson is amazing and one of the best in the game right now. And leading into that was by far the best read of the week and maybe even one of the best reads of the year so far. Transformers number one. I uh, Going hard on this, so I got the cover A. I have many covers coming from New York Comic Con. I have uh, covers from, coming from San Diego Comic Con. I have store exclusives, so I went pretty hard on the number one. So then we have the cover B with all the Autobots on there. And then we have cover C with the Decepticons. And let me know if you read Transformers. Keep it spoiler free just in case anybody has it. But let me know what you guys think about in the comments that uh, about this issue. If you're reading Void, Void Rivals as well, let me know. I got the Ryan Otley. This is the cover D. And then I didn't get any incentives or anything. Like I said, all those are coming in the mail. But I did get a store exclusive. And shout out to Dr. Von Who. He got these as well. And I need to uh, get these for uh, uh, somebody else in the community that I need to reach out for the comic shop. So we have the Transformers. And this is the LCS Rups Comics, uh, the Maria Wolf exclusive. And uh, Dr. Von Hu, shout out to him. He grabbed a set of these as well. So I need to get that package shipped out tomorrow. So I have that one. Grabbed a set for myself. And then I also have The Virgin. So those are absolutely gorgeous covers on there with Soundwave. Love that. Beautiful cover. Now we move into these. We got Batman. This is the issue 138. Uh, I'm not... Picking up all these, uh, I think it's Chrissy Zulu who's doing these, but uh, if I'm reading it, I will pick up those Halloween covers. And then finally, happy to grab some Spawn, King Spawn, issue number 26. If you haven't seen anything with the news with New York Comic Con, Spawn is going to be off the chain with all these new titles. That's one of my favorites. I love how gritty it is. This cover is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Uh, I, who's that? Mike. I want to actually see... Um, Mike, can't tell, Mike DeLag, I don't think it's Mike Delato or whatever, but, uh, can't tell the cover artist, but Brett, Brett Booth artwork in the middle, uh, pages with, uh, Gunslinger is definitely the best Spawn book on the Rex. If you're not a Spawn fan, do not pass up on Gunslinger, Two ninety nine dollars price point, can't beat that. And then, regular Spawn, not really a fan of this cover. But it was the one that was in my pull box, so I went with it. Not too picky. I like to get the virgins when I can, or the black and white ones. And then uh, King Spawn, issue number 25. Like I said, a little bit of a mix-up. My LCS has a lot of back issues. I don't get to get there every week. So I pick and choose every two weeks what books I want. So it's always kind of a mix-up. But like I said, King Spawn. Spawn all day on this channel is always going to be featured. And then shout out to Lady Durs reading Hades. This is issue two with that Medusa action figure variant. I think that's a cool cover. And then another book I'm very, very high on. Shout out to Mark over at Legion of Comics. He's all in on the Mark Miller universe. But we have issue two of Big Game, which was incredible. And issue three, which was also incredible. I've been, uh, since I'm so far on comics the past uh, week, Every night before bed, I'll come down into my room since I don't really have a good reading situation upstairs. And uh, I'll, I'll, I've been making a goal to at least read one or two books a night. <laughs> Besides Transformers, uh, Godzilla is another fandom that I'm going pretty hard on right now and trying to collect anything I can find. So uh, Godzilla, War for Humanity, back issue, I got number one. And then was able to pick up issue number two as well. And then I put that on my pull. 
And then yesterday, Saturday, or not yesterday, but filming this yesterday, but two days ago on Saturday, me and Lady Durs, we went to a cat convention. So uh, that was interesting. Look, check out my shorts. Uh, I posted some videos for that, but there was a lot of exotic cats and stuff like that. And uh, went there to support her, but uh, hit up a local comic shop afterwards and was so hyped to find this. I need to get them bagged and board. Uh, Godzilla, Here There Be Dragons. I have issue two, three, and four at my LCS, but I was waiting to find issue number one. So before I bought them, so I was able to read it. So now Godzilla vs. Pirates, yes. So excited for the new Apple series and so excited for the new movie. And then the last two books I picked up strictly for whatnot auctions, you know, dabbling and whatnot, doing stuff like that. Uh, Hawk number 13 with that killer homage cover. Love that. And then uh, I know there's a lot of Something is Killing the Children fans. So, uh, got, I think this is issue number 27, but it's that Jenniferism foil. So, another gorgeous book. Got them at cheap so I can sell them cheap, you know, in the long run. Hopefully, I get these all. <clears throat> I'm trying to get as many books as I can moved. That way, it can all go to C3. But after that, I'm going to continue doing what whatnot kind of as this little side thing and just use all that funds to uh, put directly back into my channel. And uh, that can help uh, fund bigger and better giveaways. So that's what I'm going to kind of do in the meantime while I kind of work for my watch hours. So I'm going to cut cut real quick. We're going to break it down. We have some killer hero clicks to unbox. And I've really been enjoying digging into those hero clicks. But like I said, stay tuned for the end of the video. All the descriptions for the comic screen cancer and uh, what's coming up on the channel I'm going to highlight. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, everybody. As you can see, I have a little bit of a setup, putting some of my hero clicks that I've pulled already and some of my favorite ones. I'm just going to kind of show them off and stuff like that. But for this week, I think since I'm down to two, well, I have three left, but I have two of the Superman Wonder Woman. I think we're going to go with that one. So let's cut this bad boy open. And again, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure you like, comment, share, all that kind of fun stuff. It really does help me. I'm in a really tough battle with the algorithms. So uh, if you check out any of my shorts, just uh, leave a quick comment or something like that. So uh, it does really help as I'm trying to get over that 2K hump and hold that position. So let's get these bad boys out. All right. Ooh, I already see something super, super cool. So here's the cards. And then I'll pop these babies out, as you can see. Get all these guys out right here. I like to do it on camera, so you know I'm not really pulling anything off to the side. But uh see a couple doubles, so set those aside. Get this one out. And I see two super cool ones. Does any have a silver ring yet? Is this one? Does not. Come on. So this one's still super dope. This is probably my favorite one I've pulled right here. Definitely. So let's get these cards open. Hopefully you guys are having a great start to your week. I do appreciate it. Let me know what kind of comics you guys are got or anything like that. So we're just going to start off with kind of a basic one. Uh, I think I've pulled him already, but it is Accountable. Let me try and get him to focus right there. Yep, Accountable. So, looks like no one can hide from me. Uh, real name, James Olsen. Significant appearance, Earth 2. So, that's just kind of a generic one. And then we'll kind of show off some of the doubles that we've got. we got Cold Cast right here. Get him to focus. There you go. And his first appearance was Action Comics 755. So, he's just kind of a basic guy. And then... The last duplicate is Power Girl, but I think that's a cool one to have. Everybody loves a little Power Girl for sure. And again, first appearance, uh, World's Finest, issue number one. So we'll save my favorite one. Like I said, that's definitely the coolest one I've pulled so far, but this one's super dope too. Uh, this is Circe, and she is from Wonder Woman, first significant appearance, uh, Wonder Woman 12. So I'll get it to focus on her. Kaboom. So she's dope. Like that uh, little effect she's got. But this guy is super, super cool. So this is Super Doom. Uh, significant Appearance Action Comics number 17 from 2013. And he is dope. I love him. He's a thick boy. Definitely one of my favorites. For sure. So he's cool. 
So yeah, let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know uh, which kind of comics you like, what you guys are pulling, what you guys are reading. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. But other than that, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get to going with our Sunday night, and then we got to edit this video. But stay tuned. You know, I got my Wednesday whatnot hauls and kind of my mail calls and stuff like that. I'm doing whatnot unboxings every Wednesday. And for this week, I'm going to try, it's going to be tough, but I'm going to really try and do a whatnot show every day or every other day leading up to C3. Like I said, all those proceeds go towards C3. But other than that, this Friday, I'm going to not do a premiere for my Friday uh, positivity. It's just going to be a quick little upload at 7 a.m. before Legions, you know, gets that C3 started. And it's basically just to, you know, fill that void. I've uploaded a video every single Friday for a whole year, and I don't want to miss that upload. So it's just going to be something quick. It's going to be a link tree of all the channels and everything going on with C3. So you can get that morning started. And if you miss anything or you don't know what's going on and you're a new video viewer from my channel from Shorts or anything, that link tree will be right there so you can participate in all the events going on for the comics here in Cancer. Also, I will not have a Sunday night sesh because uh, that whole auction that's going to be going all day. And I want all attention on that. Plus, I'm going to be hanging out in that auction myself. So I'm definitely going to be uh, taking a break from kind of, you know, making, making content besides my uh, quick little videos and then my shorts and stuff like that. But during the weekend, uh, it's going to be all focused on C3. So I really hope you guys can participate. If you can't donate, just please share. That's all that matters. All the links and everything, all the details are down in the description of all my videos. So on that note, I love you guys. You guys mean the absolute world to me. You really, the support really, really, really helps me through my day. Today was kind of a blah day, like I mentioned. That's why I'm not really on the video because I wasn't really feeling it. So today was just kind of meh. Uh, the Eagles ended up losing and uh, first loss of the season. So I'm definitely kind of down in the dumps. So I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you guys Wednesday. And as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.